my first vlog. I'm gonna be talking about being a third culture child. So I'm sure for Adami I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm gonna tell you about myself being a third culture child. So I was born in Malaysia, but now I went straight away to Brunei and spent three years over there. Then I moved to Bahrain and did my kindergarten as well as my primary school there. So I participated in the Arabic dance show and basically you had to do Arabic traditional dancing and we had to wear Arabic traditional clothing, Bahraini traditional clothes, which is general. It was similar to Abaya, but it was basically in color. So yeah, in our school, we had a lot of people from around the globe, such as different countries, um, from Europe, from South America, from uh, Africa as well. And the main language spoken with my friends and the community in my school there was English. But back at home, uh, my mom would try to embed and try to teach me Bahasa Melayu and she would speak to me in Bahasa so I'll learn and also she tried to make Malay food when the resources were there for like to, you know to make the Malay food because you know in Bahrain they didn't have all the resources such as the spices that needed to be made for to make Malay food so yeah and she also taught me the etiquettes and manners of Adab so I knew what Adab was so when I was around nine years old I moved to Dubai I did my primary, middle school, and high school there. So I spent most of my life in Dubai. And basically, in our school, we had many events, such as, you know, International Day, where, you know, we had students from different countries from around the world um, represent and show their culture and costume. And it was really nice. So I had a first-hand experience of trying their food, such as, you know, Pakistani, um, Korean, Japanese food, which was nice. I had you know, I tried jajamyeon, I tried kimchi and topoki, and but the halal one, obviously. <laughs> I was able to also try, you know, local dishes, Emirati dishes, and costume as well, the abayas, henna during National Day and International Day as well. So students were from around the world. I had friends from Sweden, Brazil, the U.S., and teachers were mainly from the U.K. So English was the main language I spoke with my friends to communicate and at school as well and we had to learn other languages as well so I took French at a young age and I spoke French with my French friends and with my brother at home but we had to learn Arabic it was compulsory in the UAE it was comfortable to communicate in different languages because that my friends would teach me some words and phrases slang and dialects in their language so it was really nice so I learned some few words and phrases from the countries and um, I actually loved seeing new faces and people with diverse uh, backgrounds because you know it was diverse. We had people from different countries and multiracial because in Dubai there was a lot of expats so we had people from different countries come over there to you know work and have the kids study there. So yeah, I had a wide in our school we had a wide range of you know events held every year, such as one was like pajama day, Halloween, literary book book day, basically you dress up as your favorite um, book characters and we had Christmas specials, carols as well as celebrated Eid. Eid was really nice as well and we we did celebrate diversity and we got exposed to different cultures and languages in my school life. So part, unfortunately friends would come and go and because of that like you know living expect life friends would temporarily come because of the parents working there and they would go so you know I was used to saying goodbyes <laughs> often and I do know about the quirks and traditions of different cultures and you know I was able to get exposure and experience it firsthand and I tasted a lot of variety of you know food from different countries which were delicious so alhamdulillah and a uh, plus side I also know a thing or two about local dishes local dialects and slang like khaliwali you know so in a nutshell to conclude being third culture child for me makes me feel that home doesn't become a matter of place but more like a matter of people and we are more diverse and have experience and exposure to different cultures and background and race and we love meeting new people from around the world and I think that we are able to you know understand on a personal level as well and I think that we should all learn to you know accept respect and embrace and also experience different cultures so I think we should all travel the world and see different cultures and love it you know and also at the same time I think we should learn to you know respect and embrace each other and yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog I hope you guys enjoy it so 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Au revoir. Bye.